Hey, this is Dylan Andrews with EarTrainingForGuitar.com and in this video I want to go through the difference between what a scale degree is and an interval. This is something that people mix up all the time and it's very important to ear training that you understand the difference. So let's first talk about what an interval is. An interval is the distance from one note to another. All right, and this is what you train your ear on to be able to identify this and scale degrees. So if I go from here to here, well, that's a second interval. It's two frets away. If I go here to here, that is a third interval, two whole steps away or four frets away. And it goes on and on. So intervals are just distance from one note to another. Now let's look at scale degrees. So a scale degree is, let's say that we're in the key of A major. A scale degree is the numbers that relate specifically to the scale. So this is the first note of the scale, the second note of the scale, the third note of the scale, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the first. All right, now, if I were to play these two here, now I'm still in the key of A, all right? So I'm in the key of A, I'm in this scale, all right? What I'm doing here is I'm playing a fifth interval, okay? Because I'm looking at what is the distance from this note to this note. Now, if I look at scale degrees, scale degree, I'm playing the second scale degree and the sixth scale degree, all right? Now, here is the main difference. Scale degrees is everything relating off the root, the one. So what is this in relation to the root of the key? Well, in relation to the key of A, the root, this is a two and this is a six. Now, what are the difference though? What's the distance between these two together? This would be a fifth. And that is the main difference. The scale degrees is relating to the root. Intervals are relating between any two notes that is not the root. All right? This is a very small difference and it's something that people really mix up really often. Now, why is this important? Why does it matter to ear training? Here's exactly why. So in ear training or in transcribing songs, what you want to be able to do is to be able to hear the differences between these. So if I am in the key of A and I play an A chord, and then I play a melody like this, well, my ear would tell me that that is a five, six, seven, one. All right, now let's say I go to a D chord, which is the four chord. What's going on now is my ear is gonna perceive everything from D, not from A anymore. So if I was playing an A chord and then I hit, let's say a uh, E, that is gonna feel like a five. Okay. But let's say that I play um, a D and then I hear that same E. That E is now functioning completely differently because over the A chord it's a five, but over the D chord it's a two. So it's going to want to resolve. This is something called modulating pitch function. This is where when you play a chord, everything is relating around that chord. The, um, functions of the pitch change. So when you're transcribing music or you're transcribing melodies, you're not just listening out for scale degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're listening out for the intervals that relate to the chord being played. So when you're transcribing music, you first wanna know, well, what's the chord progression going on? And then you can figure out everything beyond that. Now, when I'm transcribing music, it totally depends. Sometimes I will hear the scale degrees no matter what chord is going on. Like for instance, when I hear the seven, to my ear, that is always a seven, right? No matter what chord is happening, I can really identify that as a seven. And then sometimes I um, hear them as the intervals based off the chord being played. So it totally depends on it. And what I would do is practice this, practice singing the intervals based around the chord being played. You can choose any key that you want, and this will really go a long way to developing your ear. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this.
And one specific way to practice this is you could just play and sing arpeggios. So, if I'm in the key of A, I could just do arpeggios up and down the scale. So I'd sing. And I'd go to the two. And it'd be a minor arpeggio, because the two is minor. One, three, five. And you would just do that up and down, and that'll start training your ear to be able to identify intervals based off the chord being played. So that is the difference between scale degree and interval and how it relates to ear training and also a way that you can train your ear on this. And if you would like a much more in-depth lesson and path to follow, you should check out my course called Complete Ear Mastery. This is an online ear training course designed specifically just for guitar players where I've taken my 20 plus years of experience and practice and put it all into one fully in-depth course for you. So if you would like to check that out, you can go to eartrainingforguitar.com or you can just check out the link in the description. But thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you got a lot out of it and I will see you at the next one.